Hello, Lillas. Oh, welcome, welcome back to <laughs> Serenity's Corner. <laughs> no. Um, I am here with my cuddle baby. <laughs> he's not an actual cuddle baby, but he's cuddly, so I call him cuddle baby. It, why do we have to explain every single thing now? Um, this is Logan, my little chubster. Um, and I am going to see if he wants to have a little bit more of his bottle. Oh, there he is. Let me have this bottle. Let me have a bottle of Mama Talk. Um, so I put him on some PJs. Um, does he have to stay warm? And it's funny because he has replaced Taraji. I don't know if you guys remember, Taraji always sat in my living room. Um, but, it's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, Taraji always sat in my living room, in the front of the living room. And he has been actually out downstairs in the living room, um, actually sitting in the car seat. Because um, I, lo I love the way he looked in the car seat and he was just so cute. And um, so I would have him uh, like pose like we're getting ready to leave. And it was so funny. Um, my, my guy was over and I guess he didn't notice when he came in because we usually, we usually go through the garage. And so he was going out through the front door and I see him kept double, ch double checking like looking back at Logan like oh it's like he had to keep double checking like that's that's a baby or not what's what was that like you know because sometimes I have the grandbabies over on the weekend so I don't know and I know he know that neither one of my grandbabies is this small now but it's just funny it's just it's just cracked me up because he never even said anything but he just he kept like trying to double check so I swapped his clothes out for um, Orion actually is wearing his little outfit that he had on with his shoes and stuff. I'll take pictures. And he is in the centerpiece of the nursery. Orion is. And he's sleeping. And then I put little Mr. Busy Man that stay, stay woke with mommy because he's so nosy. Say, I am a baby version of Lola. He is so nosy. So he stays up a lot. So I got him in his um, dream big PJs, I think. Well, it just says dream, but I've had these pajamas for so long. I got these from, um, what was it called? Babies R Us when they used to have like the koala baby brand i think this is koala baby um and i think it was when i had indy i want to say it was indy and he he was like one of my first like full size uh full body silicone baby so many many years ago and so I've kept it all this time and like most of my babies have wore it. But I was like, oh, and this is like a six month size. But you know, some, like a lot of sleepers and pajamas and stuff, I've learned that they actually um, fit smaller. Um, and so, or because we, our babies kind of wear stuff a little baggy, they usually fit the babies, the, 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 smaller babies um especially like the walmart pajamas you can get 12 month and put it on a three month baby um so i that's what i do or nine they i think the lowest it comes in sometimes it's nine months you can get nine or 12 months and put it on like zero to three month babies size baby so i really really um like pjs on my babies are you are you just playing chewing on the nipple are you done or are you actually feeding so yeah so I just you know really um enjoy 
my babies in like relaxed clothes. Those are the babies. You could tell the babies that I'm going to be holding or they'll have on like really soft clothes. If a baby is really dressed up, dressed up, you could pretty much guarantee that I'm not touching that baby beyond um, photos or video type thing. They're going to just be on display for however long because I usually like them in, you know, just a diaper and a t-shirt or a onesie or some type of soft clothing, PJs or lounge like type wear. I mean, what some people call lounge wear is like my everyday wear. But, I mean, he's a big baby, but I still try to burp him. I still try to burp him, but that's a boy. So I still try to burp him and get him burped. Um, this is the best part about <laughs> this is the best part about the hobby. I think I I think I literally make videos sometimes just so I can have time to really sit and enjoy my dolls. Like I I probably would. I'm trying to think. Do I ever do this off camera? Like just sit in the rocker and rock a baby to hold a baby like this i don't think so i think it's usually well sometime i'll start out i, I take that back sometime i'll start out and say oh i'm gonna do a video and then i'll try to think of what video i'm gonna do and i'll start rocking the baby and i'll get so relaxed and i'll kind of doze off and um i'll never even make the video i never move or sometime after the camera turn off and i turn the camera off I'll sit here for a few minutes and be like, oh, I'm going to get up in a little bit. And next thing you know, I'm just drifted off into La La Land. And I'll hold the baby like that. Um, when I interact with my babies, is mostly changing their clothes. I don't know. It's something about once you get them dressed, you want to pick them up and like cradle them a little bit. And then you'll just put them down. Um, I think, too, that's a misconception with the hobby. And... Uh, people that role play and people that, um, you know, so here's the thing. A lot of people like be like, oh, I want a baby that's soft, super soft silicone. I want a baby that's cuddly. I want a baby that this. I can understand wanting super soft if you're one of people that like to change your baby clothes and pose them a lot because the softness does help them be flexible. But some of the people that like, oh, they're so specific about it being soft and cuddly and floppy. If and then they say, oh, I don't hold my, I don't hold my dolls. I just put them in, you know, cribs or cases or leave them put. It's like, so why are you so particular about those particular things if you don't want to, you know, feel the realism when you pick the doll up um, and stuff? You can just have a stiff, you know baby and as long as it look good and it's pretty then that's fine for your your case your your little storage place or whatever i don't know but at the same time people that do say oh yeah i i love my babies i love them to be cuddly i love to hold them i love the way they feel um i think that people assume that oh she just sit around and do nothing all day but play with her dolls or she, yeah, she just she just holds her dolls all day and she's probably God knows what breastfeeding or something, you know, the dolls like that's not I don't think most collectors have the time because these dolls are very expensive. So I'm sure it's a lot of rich housewives, too. But on an average, most of us work every day full time and and have children, you know, other children, well, real children and stuff like that. And those that don't have other hobbies or responsibilities, husbands and all that stuff. So there's really not as much time to just sit and hold, you know, the dolls or whatever, the babies. And I feel weird when I call them dolls. Don't judge me. Um, it sounds almost disrespectful. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think we interact with them. A little bit but we like when we do interact with them that they feel and they move and they look real I think that's what what the main thing is about like 
right now, if if I am not focusing, like I'm focusing on it now because I'm talking about the subject, but just for a moment when I start talking and once I start just really getting in conversation with you guys, I completely forget that, you know, my brain, I don't forget, forget, but my brain clicks off that this is a doll and because it feels so real, I can literally feel like the babe like it feels like I'm holding a baby and I'm the calm and the relax and it's like and so when you see me like doing like this or stuff like this is what I do with real babies and it just I don't know it's like a maternal instinct thing just clicks in and so um that's why I like for them to feel real look real that type thing and it's just a, such a relaxing calming you know feeling um i don't i don't think i have two no more psychological problems than the average person <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know it's just crazy i i don't i don't really i try not to give that all that stuff too much thought to be honest um but occasionally i think about it yeah, little feet, little piggies. Oh. So, I definitely got my mind on another uh, cloth body or either a cuddle with hands and feet. Um, so, I'm just waiting to see how pricing and stuff turns out um, for my personal collection. And um, I don't like painting partials, but... For the right partial, I will sacrifice my life <laughs> and my 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 poor little confidence, and I would try it again. Um, you know, just for my personal collection, though, because um, I really love partials. Partials are really sweet. They um, they're just cuddly, and they pose, and they 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 fit their clothes usually pretty good. And it's just different than, you know, a full body. I love my full bodies. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, full body can be just as cuddly. I'm sure I've said it before as well. And they can be just as flex, you know, just as posable and all that stuff. But the reality of the situation is that they, they, they will never be as posable as a cloth body that is you know well constructed um because even if you have armatures and you can lift the legs up you can't rotate them um with the cloth bodies they're they're just as flexible and everything as a actual reborn so it's like the best of both worlds and I'm, I'm sure y'all heard people say that all the time but it really is it really is because I mean I need lotion <laughs> but it really is um so yeah but anyway oh I don't want I didn't want to turn him around really I wanted to keep holding him like this. it's just I don't know um Now, one of the things that I wanted with him and that if I think would have made even better with this this particular sculpt is to have armatures in the arms so you could, you know, like pose him and let his his arms would stay like that or straighten at this. Um, so that would have been like ideal. Um, but when you're doing a prototype, you want to have them as original as can be. And that's the way the blanks are. So, you know, you have to kind of go with the original so that, I mean, I think so anyway, at least so people know what it looks like, know how it moves and stuff versus putting extra stuff in and you have to put all these disclosures because a lot of people don't read like a lot of people you know I've learned they 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 just don't read 
and they were like oh i thought it was gonna be able to do this or i thought it was gonna be able to, you know that's just like i love to see the posing and how cute the pictures is for like a lot of artists do with the kit like after it's painted and all that and they don't really put it on the body for real and they pose it and stuff but i feel like it's like false advertising because people think oh when i get this baby it's gonna pose all beautifully like this but the legs are disconnected the arms are disconnected connected the head is disconnected and they design it to look like the baby is all flexible i seen one the other day with the little butt in the air and the baby i know the baby was taken apart but a lot of people assume that it's put together i think you know it kind of messed people up sometimes okay i love look, look, look at his legs i went to uh pull his pants leg up for something and I and I look at his legs I'm like oh my gosh so chunky I don't know I I I really didn't expect to to fall for this this little guy but he's different and I just I don't know I keep trying to figure out like why do I like him so much why do I like you so much because I really didn't think I would like like him like him i was like oh he's definitely gonna be sold when he's finished um but when i got him blank and i was just like oh he's so curly and maybe because i just i love the size i love being able to have a partial and i like that he's awake and i don't know but anyway that's me and my 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 little craziness i'm gonna go now so i have a lot to do I was just making a video while I let my nursery warm up so that I can um, get to painting. So, um, oh, and for those that may not know, Jaden did get sold or he has a reserve. So, meaning pretty much he's practically paid for completely. So, well, he's got a reserve on him. And so, therefore, um, he will be getting rooted in between me finishing up my private order um so i'm painting and i'll be painting and rooting so i'll be like probably painting all day and then rooting at night um and so it will be uh, i always like to paint first thing in the morning it's my thing um i sometimes i paint two three o'clock in the morning and I'll paint all for the first half of the morning, like hours and hours, and then knock off of, like probably in the afternoon. Um, I usually take a break once Gabby gets home and spend time with her. But, and then I, I'll go to rooting or whatever. So I will be extremely busy because I like to, you know, go ahead and get him finished and then so it don't take long for him to be able to go to his mommy and so I'm be working on his little box packing um, I started looking at stuff online what I want to buy for him to go home in or I'll probably go in the stores and just shop for his box opening and start getting his box opening together in between time and so I have Brady Brady is the next one that is gonna be completely ready to be rooted and can be reserved but I'm not going to reserve, I don't want to reserve too many babies at one time that has to be rooted because, you know, I root slow. So, that's that. Um, but, so I'll probably, if I reserve one other baby, I'll probably, um, to be rooted, um, I would, it would be probably a really case-by-case -case basis. Um, and I have to be someone that's going to be patient. Um, for their turn for me to get that one rooted so um i may not you know do much more re reserves until after the holidays oh this is so cute all right <laughs> i am out of here see you later bye